Hi, everybody. I'm Adam. I'm Michael. And today we're going to be reviewing Game of Thrones. The bells. Oh, the bells. Because we're bored in Ohio. called the bells it's called what quasimodo was afraid of <laughs> you know i don't as you know i don't watch the trailer for the next one and i sure as hell don't look up the names of the because well, I, I don't want it to give anything away to me but. they don't even post the names right away when you go to select that on hbo go it just says episode 05 or like you know like s8-05 Oh, okay. They don't even have the actual name until the next day. Because they don't want to give anything away. I want to tell you, uh, we haven't discussed this really. And uh, I can already tell that your tone sounds very depressed. This episode? Yeah. Yeah. We'll get in. This this is why I thought this could be an interesting episode for us. Because I feel like we're going to have some different opinions. Although probably not as different as you might be thinking based on my tone. Um. But before we yeah. jump into that, real quick, are you going to do a, an actual quick yes, rundown I'd like for to once? Do a real quick one. All right, you run run it down quickly. Okay. Are you done? No. <laughs> okay. So obviously, this episode's all about the altercation with Cersei. Um, but before that, Varys, you know, he decides he's Team John, goes up to John and says, "Hey, I think you should be the king," and he's like, "I don't fucking want it, bro." And then Tyrion's like, you know, Varys, he betrayed you. And Danny's looking all fucked up, crazy eyes. Yeah, did you notice it's, the makeup around her eyes already making her look like fucking yeah. Darth Sidious or some shit? Yeah. <laughs> uh, and she's like, uh, you all betrayed me. You did. John did. That motherfucker did. And then Tyrion's like, oh, Varys is a good dude, though. She's like, ah, it's too late for that. And she has him burned alive. And then they go to fight Cersei you know, you in a war. Out about that, real quick, just real quick. Sure. She point blank said to Tyrion, "In reality, you betrayed me first, and you, you know, you started this whole betrayal." But she has no qualms about immediately saying, "Let's burn this fucker." And Tyrion go over and give him a little pat and say, "You're here, buddy." <laughs> and then walk away. Yeah. Uh, anyway, go on. Um. Yeah. So then everyone's going. To, to the war, quotation fingers, it was no war. It was a goddamn slaughter. <laughs> Which, by the way, how she took out those fucking boats was exactly what... Why didn't she just do that? <laughs> in, in, in an episode when she ago? was When she was charging, why didn't she just fly up and... You know, yeah. I, anyway, go on. Well, we'll get to all that shit. Yeah. So Danny, like, you know, it slaughters uh, the army, like the armada, all of it. Uh, meanwhile, Jamie and... Uh, the Hound and Arya are all within the gates trying to get to Cersei. At least two of them are. Hound's trying to get to his bro, who's next to Cersei, so yeah. they're all on the same path. And <laughs> Hound and Arya get toward the area, and Hound's like, you know what, you don't want to be like me, girl. You got to get the fuck out of here. We did the whole ride here, and now that we're here. Yeah. But now we're here, you need to get the fuck out, okay? <laughs> yeah. Uh he has the the much anticipated Clegane Bowl, which was phenomenal. Phenomenal, yeah. Uh, Jamie finds Cersei, but when they sounded the it's called the bells because when when King's Landing sounds the bells, they've surrendered. And when they did that, Danny said, "Fuck that shit." She thought it was a boxing match. Ding dong, next round, and starts fucking burning everybody alive. Everybody, everything, everybody, men, women, children, the elderly, dogs, cats, yeah, all of it. Uh, <laughs> as this is happening, and she she doesn't go straight for the keep. She makes it a point to zigzag through the city like, yeah, fuck all ya. Yeah. You know? Then when she finally gets to the keep, starts burning all that shit down, Cersei, who got paid a million dollars for every episode this season, 
who said maybe one thing and just looked out a window the entire time. Uh, Jamie finds her, not before having a fight with Euron, because that fucking makes sense. Because mm, yeah. that's his fucking antithesis or something. Who stabs him? He thinks mortally. But Jamie finds her, and they're below, and he's going to try to get her out. He stabbed him twice. I know. And like, like he couldn't even be walking realistically. Oh, no, of course not. But I'm just like, okay. Uh, <laughs> and they're trapped, and uh, they humanize Cersei, which is kind of strange. And a bunch of rubble falls on them, and they die. Yeah. And... Oh, we, we, we think they're dead. Oh, they're definitely dead. And all the while, John was like, oh, fuck. This bitch crazy. She's nuts. <laughs> and he pulled his men away and said, we got to retreat. And then it ends. And that's that. What about Arya riding away on the right, white horse? Okay, Arya, yeah. Which, how Arya many times can that poor girl white horse? get her head smacked against a brick in one episode and still be able okay. to... So that yeah. that was a fairly quick rundown. That's quick, yeah. As you can tell by my delivery, I think a lot of this episode was absurd. Okay. I don't disagree completely with anything so you're saying. Every like everyone on Twitter just blew the fuck up. And I don't blame them. Yeah. Because if you watch the first four seasons and you see the methodical pace, the yeah, the I, character building. And I agree with it. Once they stopped having the books. They, everything got sped up, and it's never been more apparent than this season. Yeah. Usually, like, they work a whole season up to a big battle. Like, if 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 they were doing like they did in the first four seasons, this whole season would have been them working up to the battle with to, the yeah. Night King. Agreed. And it fucking needs it. Like, this show needed two more seasons. I have no problem. Like, the people that, like, their biggest problem is it seems like Danny switched on a dime. And that's due to the fact that they sped this shit up. Right. They've had the little hints here and there. She says fucking things. They say what how Targaryens are. And like they realized how how badly they were speeding this up that in the preview, did you watch like the previously on? Oh pre- uh yeah. So when they showed her face, they had a bunch of dialogue. <laughs> yeah. To remember like, oh, a Targaryen alone in the world is a dangerous thing. Yeah, yeah this, and the other, this, that, and the other. Don't want to wake the dragon. And it's like, oh. Do you want to know what would have sold her flipping and just destroying everybody and not taking Tyrion's advice? What? Is if when Cersei cut off... Um, Miss Sandy's head. My Sunday's head, that she had... Did you say my Sunday? My Sunday. <laughs> Did okay. you not see the meme? It's hilarious. No, I've not seen it. <laughs> it shows it shows Grey Worm looking down distraught when he sees my Sunday's my, my Sunday's body, and he goes, and his, all it says is underneath his face is my Sunday, and there's a picture of a of a oh, Sunday, Sunday on its side on the, smashed oh. to the ground. Oh, <laughs> anyway, Jesus. all right. Well, what has sold this? Okay, is that if you they they had digitally, if you need to, put a ton of the fucking people that live. In that city, like in a position where they like could have watched cheering. her, watched her, do, you know, watch her do this. And yeah. then she's taking it as, and then she eventually flips. It's like, you know what? Fuck all these people. They're mm. okay. This is who they want to rule. Well, they're not going to be my people. Then at least it would have helped the insanity. Right. So, um, yeah, because she said like she's going to take what's hers with blood and fire. Like yeah. she said that throughout the series, but also throughout the series, they show her standing up for innocence and freeing slaves and doing all this, that, and the other. So when all of a sudden the bells ring and they surrender, and she just decides, like, she literally decides to not go straight for the keep. And uh, in the behind the scenes, they're like, that's that moment she decided to make it personal. Yeah. But it's personal between her and Cersei. Right. Not the people. So that fucking comment means jack shit to me. Yeah. She purposely like strafed the fucking city all the way up there. What would have sold me is, uh, like the moment when John kind of rejects her the last time, and she says, "Let it be fear." Yeah, she had been saying that the people there don't love her. Right. Um, if they would have developed that sentiment more, sure. that that whole sure. situation would have made way more sense. I to me. completely agree with you. And yeah, 
They just needed to do a touch more here and a touch more there just to sell it. And they they needed a whole two more seasons. Oh, I com- I want listen. I completely agree with you on that completely. And and it it upsets me that we're not getting yeah. that gradual build for us to understand the characters as they are meant to be understood. You know what I'm afraid is that after this final episode, mm-hmm. we're gonna look back on this show and think that it shit the bed. Yeah, that could. Yeah, depending on how this next. And this is not an hour. This is one of the shorter of, no, of this. This is an eighty. Right? This is no. This is so long. It's another eighty minutes. Okay. Well, because this, if you think about the season, it's six episodes, and three of them are conflict, like yeah. that, where there's like no character building whatsoever, right. except for the lead up of us trying, like trying to believe, because. Danny's slip into madness happened in an episode and a half. Yeah. Which is fucking dumb. But so we had the Night King battle. We had the King's Landing slaughter. And now we're going to have the remaining episode, which is going to have to be a conflict between Danny and John. Yeah. It's like, and this all happens (laughs) in six episodes. There's just so much going on. And it, it's, it's just going way too fast. I agree. Also, Arya going with the hound and then him being like, you don't want to be like me, girl. I don't, I don't think he really talks like that, yeah. but I needed to do a voice. And then she just goes. And the only reason they did that is so we have somebody we gave a shit about running through the city as it was being destroyed with hellfire. Yeah. <laughs> You know, um, I just I just thought of something. Uh, you, you know, when I was playing around with the idea that John is up for execution or whatnot, mm-hmm. that could still completely work. Sure, because Grey Worm, when they, they made sure to show you that yeah, when he Danny held back put, his people, yeah. that Grey Worm saw him and gave him like a dirty look. Yeah, that he's going to report to Danny that when she was attacking, he held back troops for a period of time and wasn't Mm -hmm. fully committed behind her. What she could say is now treason and right. You know, she could say that and rightfully you could say that was treason. She didn't. He did. He did call his soldiers to retreat after he saw his Northmen trying to rape people. Yeah. But what if, what if she remind me, remind me Drogon. What if she tells Drogon to light John on fire and he doesn't, and he doesn't do it. He's like, nah. Yeah. And Remember then, that look that I gave him when you guys were about to fuck in front of me? That was a look of me being like, I got your back, That was bro. so creepy. It was like, the, huh. I'm, I'm, I'm your fucking dragon, bro. He's a good wingman. Bros before hoes. I'm literally a wingman. Yes. I am your fucking wingman. <laughs> before I shit on this episode more, yeah, I will say four nice things. Okay. I'll point out my three favorite parts of the episode. And they're all character moments. How many did you make me say for Last Jedi? It was it was pretty. You were like, you need to give no, me I, like I, five. No, things no, no, you no, 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 no. I couldn't even do more than one. I think I made you give me three. I'm gonna give you four. All right, give this them episode. To me. Um, the scene between Jamie and Tyrion when Tyrion set him free. Mm-hmm. That was a nice calling back to when Jamie set yes. him free. And it was a, those two actors just really work well together. They do. That was a very good scene. Uh. Even though her being there was pointless, uh, Arya's goodbye to the Hound, and she uses his actual name, was nice. She called him Sandor. Yes. Uh, and then the Clegane Bowl was It was amazing. Beautiful. It was exactly how it should have been. Yeah. Yeah. And that leads into my fourth thing, which is just the overall cinematography of this episode was phenomenal. It was really good. It was really, really good. That especially the cocaine ball. I mean, fuck, that looked so fucking cool. You saw the shadow of the dragon just exactly like how he saw it mm-hmm. when he first went to the yeah, which was nice because I'm like, they better yeah. show that fucking dragon flying over this, and there it was, the shadow. You know, and yeah. you could see the dragon from that perspective, but they showed the same shadow, yeah. which I I liked that. Yeah, they paid off a bunch of things, which fine. It's like yeah, Danny's whole vision. That she saw with the throne. It wasn't snow. It was ashes. Yeah. Of her burning the shit down. Yeah. Uh, fucking. I mean, what is it? Where's, what's she going to sit on? I don't know. The, 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 I mean, she destroyed fucking everything. Like, 
like everything. I know she did. Although they're going to say like the throne room's still there or some shit. Oh yeah, of course. Well, it was some broken yeah, the sun's going to, it's going to be a nice sun room. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> a little leaky when it rains. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Some other things besides just the breakneck speed that really kind of pissed me off. They've turned Tyrion into an idiot. Like every decision he's making is wrong. Yeah. And also the fact that he told Jamie of a secret passage, he could have told Danny, there's a secret passage. We could send a few assassins to kill Cersei. Game over. Nobody has to even be anywhere. Yeah, I agree. Fucking dumb. John, John's been reduced to an extra. <laughs> the last, yes, he has. Which, which is almost honestly foreshadowing that it looks like he's going to that he's going to be the one that is supposed to, to win it all, but that he turns it all down and obviously gives it to. No, he's not going to give to anybody. <laughs> no, uh, I think he's, he's going to split up. Split I, think up the, yeah. I think he's literally, I like your, I actually kind of like your idea of Danny sentencing John to death and trying to use Drogon and Drogon's like, no, I, I really think that's what's going to happen. before hose. <laughs> then he gives him a wing five. Yeah. And then John actually, has Trogan melt the Iron Throne. Oh. And it goes away. I like that. I like that. That would actually, yes. If that if it is towards the end of that episode and that's what they do and he's like, no, there's no there's no longer this throne that, that's going to rule over everything. Mm-hmm. Each, each has their own, you know, domain yeah. or whatnot. But and honestly. And melt it. That'd be pretty sweet. This episode was the Phantom Menace of Game of Thrones episodes. Or the coolest thing was a fight between two cool characters. Well, there was never a sweet moment that I really enjoyed, like Tyrion and Jaime uh, and Phantom. That whole movie was just a turd. Except for the Darth Maul fight. That's it. I agree. Yeah. That's, I'm just saying the cocaine bowl was the Darth Maul fight of oh, this episode. Was. And everything else was just kind of... Huh. Yeah. I mean... I mean, John Danny stood- is Anakin, kind of. Sure. Yeah, yeah. And I don't think John ever left that one street. That just right no. there, right there at the intersection. He just never left that there. spot. Poor Arya's running all over the damn place, getting her head smacked against walls and shit, bricks, yeah. everything. She just keeps getting back up. Kara Kara about well, after the the as soon as Danny just started murdering people, yeah. she was like, This is dumb. Yeah, it's like she it's wanted to tap quick. out. Uh, like, like I don't disagree with the character move. No, I don't either. It's, they just it makes a really, really it's a jump. fucking terrible setup for it. Yeah. They didn't really, they didn't let it marinate. They didn't do anything. They didn't. If they would have showed her introduction to Westeros and like her feeling distant, I mean, they try to like she was separated at the banquet and this and that, but that's an episode and a half. They're all Northmen and fucking wildlings. What the yeah. fuck? Did, none of them are going to come over to her no. anyway. So it's that made that makes sense that they wouldn't come over to her, right? And there's a fucking Northman riding around on a fucking dragon because they don't know, yeah. you know. So I mean, she, I get that she feels isolated and alone. Her closest advisor advisors have all betrayed her in some way. Yeah. But and then she lost her best friend, Miss Sandy. Well, now she's not going to have any children when she's dead next episode, so that's going to fulfill that prophecy. Yeah. (sighs) Uh, Yeah. Why why don't you talk about it for a little... I mean, I I just sat here and pooped all over it for a bit. I don't disagree with anything you're saying. Even for me, Grey Worm, who is not supposed to... And and everyone can argue about it. He's too emotional right now. And I know he's got Miss Sunday. And, and I get it, you know, he fell in love with this person that, and now he's got this, the one thing he actually had emotion for. Mm -hmm. So he's going to go and start murdering innocent people. So I think him and him and Danny, like Danny, had this already planned out. Sure. I just wish it would have been shown. Like it doesn't make that jump. I don't disagree with what the character eventually does. I yeah. disagree with the ju- like like you're saying that it's yeah. that too much of a jump. It's, like I said, this is this season is the biggest casualty to them. Well, it's not even like not even like 
being out of the source material because at least they had an outline, but for whatever reason, they said eight seasons and we're done. Yeah. Well, even R.R. Martin said how many times this need there needed to be two more seasons. Yeah. Two more seasons with with how much HBO there is. would have wanted it. The actors would have wanted it. Yeah. Why the fuck was the the what was why? I think the showrunners wanted to be done in eight, but they get more bank for two more years. What? Everybody wants them. Everyone's like trying to suck their dick now. They get them yeah, to do they're doing Star Wars. And yeah, they're shit. doing Star Wars. They announced that the the next actual Star Wars film that's not part of the saga is going to be theirs. Yeah. Yay. Right? I mean, not that I don't think they'll come up with a good idea. Well, actually, no. This isn't even their idea. It's R.R. Martin's idea. Well, right. I mean, I, fuck, I don't know, man. Anyway. Well, maybe they actually, if it's something that they're just doing themselves, yeah. maybe a movie format is better for them and not a television one. Because, obviously, the first four seasons where they had source material, complete, like, just wonderful books yeah. to reference those seasons were phenomenal. Like they're they're great at adapting. Yeah, something. But as soon as they had to go off an outline and fill in the blanks, uh, Battle of the Bastards is pretty was, good though. Oh no no, like their big uh, set pieces are fantastic. I mean, I sure. thought that the the battle against the Night King was done incredibly well. Yeah, even though a lot of people had trouble with how dark it was. Um, like all the battles and things have been done very well and like illustrated very brilliantly. Uh, like I said, their cinematography is great. Yeah. Um, but they're just shortchanging the story. And I don't, I'm not even calling it bad writing. I'm just saying they forced a timeline that was so truncated, you can't help but to write a little shitty. It first oh, right. became apparent when people were like, people just seem to be teleporting here and there. And that's because there was no portrayal of change of time. Right. And, right, because they used to show like Podrick and uh, freaking uh, God, Brian. Thank you. It, I, their, their their journey to anywhere took fucking forever. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it took like half a season to yeah. get somewhere. Her and Jamie to get anywhere was forever. And then all of a sudden, it was like sudden, within an episode. Yeah, they're teleporting here and there. Yeah. Um. Shitty writing with uh, the Hound and Arya with that, which we already discussed about the whole. Well, that, yeah, that was just cheap. So what it that was, was a is, cheap trick to have you care about somebody in the fucking end, like running through the fucking streets. The, 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 so th- that interaction needed to happen. It was yeah. just shitty writing. Like yeah. it was, sh- it was shitty writing uh, because, uh, you know, he does care for her mm-hmm. and she does in a, her own way, give a shit about him. I think her calling him by his real name sure. was a, a very brilliant way to show that she cares yeah uh, for like acknowledging him as the person he is not the persona that was built around the yeah. evil son of a bitch that he was right i mean it's way better than her saying like i love you bro <laughs> although this is like this is real big on people thanking people before they die yes i don't agree with the character move of Arya saying or thinking or showing you know what you're right i should probably just bail that's what that's what i'm saying like she could have said the whole sandor thing like before he left winterfell yeah and she could have stayed back there or she could have even said that there made him think that she was going to go try to get herself safe you know Mm -hmm. and as soon as he turned his back after his knowledge of her she kept going she just turned and kept going her doing and, and and then she could have still had the same total thing happen she's trying to still find a way to get to cersei all this carnage is going on sees the mother and daughter tries to help them and out of the way you know uh it's just it, it's just i don't know why they 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 made it stupid um the camera shot with jamie uh when he first sees cersei Mm-hmm. That, that was they're just being assholes they did that for you to think for a second because he's been mortally wounded that, that Arya go. found him somewhere how and i'm not saying they thought ahead that far you, you just you're just upset no that... i did not like that move well i mean i did not like the, uh, over the thing because then then it's like why why do the whole he comes in from the back and sees her and then he you know comes in for her you know sneaks in to help her and then 
the whole time there's this tension. Is that really him? He's just holding her. They're holding each other. There's carnage fucking everywhere. There could be a dragon blowing up the tower that's standing mm-hmm. in any fucking second. It's just whatever. And then, of course, he's like, you know, let's, let's go. And I just thought the way that they died was stupid. Stupid and cheap. She's For such... such a huge character that she yeah. was in this. this. I mean, she was just a force of nature. Like yeah. she was always somebody to deal with and she... so good. And she has been incredibly underutilized this season. And her end was not fitting of the character she was. Yeah. I No, I completely agree. It's that's that's not it's like she's been this character out throughout the whole thing and like she said like a couple things and then she's crying with Jamie and yes. then she dies in rubble. Yes. It's like what the fuck? Right, you take Ned Stark from the first season, who was you didn't know him very well, you only knew him for that many episodes, has a very intense death, like mm-hmm. the whole setup. Then you take this person who has been since the first episode the biggest antagonist bitch throughout the whole fucking thing, and she gets and, kind of a sweet and she ending. Gets kind of a yeah, it makes it's it makes no sense. No. Um, my last thing I will say besides of how awesome the game bowl was because it was awesome, and I, I loved everything about it. I loved how the hound even laughed. I'm yeah. sorry, I said to you, <laughs> that laugh that was great. Yeah. Right? <laughs> just, I mean, like, it was so, so him. Yeah. Um, I loved all. I like that they both died in fire. You know, well, yeah. well, they would have died from the fall anyway. Right. But you know what I mean. But I love that his last move was like, "I'm fuck it. Yeah, I'm tackling you into this fire. This is what started the whole fucking thing. You put my face to fire because I wanted to play with your fucking toy. Yeah. Now I'm gonna put your ass in the fire. It was it was beautiful. Yeah. Um. The only th- it, all I will say one thing right now, and that is, I don't give a shit how you end this this show. It's supposed to be satisfying, whatever they say. Of course, they're going to say that anyway. Yeah. You better not show that Arya sees a white horse, gets on that white horse, and she rides the white horse out, and it has nothing. That that symbolism of the white rider has nothing to do with the story. Why, why put that in there? So they better do something with that. It will drive me fucking bonkers. I will be literally. That will ruin this whole season for me because i'm mm-hmm. like you then don't do it just find a horse sure make it white but it's like hiding in a corner because it's trying to get hit, get hit by fire you have it standing in the middle of the fucking street making and it this was epic. very dramatic in this yeah. beautiful shots and yeah putting way too much emphasis on what's going on yes so she has to be doing i i think now that she's put i think because of this from the way that they showed everything and what daenerys did daenerys is on her list now it would make sense to me that that's what's happened. She looks at that mom and child who's been burnt alive, mm-hmm. bothered by it, all the devastation around. Yeah. And then she gets on a white horse, which is the savior type of deal thing. Mm-hmm. And yes. No, I'm with you. I think she's definitely going to have a part. part. To yeah, play, she has to have a part. But which there's would no make way. sense why she needs to be down there. Yes. But still, but there's her, no way she her kills whole role Danny. in this episode was stupid. Yeah, there's no way she kills Danny. And I say that because she's already been too epic. There's no way they write her to be the epic, epic, you know? Well, yeah. I mean, um, it would be, I mean, it'd be cool to see her do something. But if, if, if she's wearing somebody else's face and gets close to her, that's going to, I'm going to be like, it, I mean, I know she can do that, but couldn't you have been more clever with the writing, right. you know? Well, there's still, you know, prophecies abound uh, where people think John is still. Azor a high sure and that he'll actually stab Danny because part of that uh, prophecy was that he forged a sword and the la- like he tried a few different ways and the last way he did it like he stabbed his wife and when he pulled it out it was infused in fire and became Lightbringer so that's what Arya he stabs Dan, she stabs Danny and pulls it out, and it's like where needle becomes. No, I'm saying John, I know. I'm, John saying, I'm do trying it. to play with the horse. <laughs> oh, so, well, and I mean, she's obviously could be helping John in some way. I mean, wouldn't you like to see needle turn into that? No. Oh, yeah, you would. No. That little dinky sword. And then <sighs> Cersei's prophecy was that she was supposed to die with by a younger brother. Yeah. With like hands around her neck, 
like like implying like being that they choked. Yeah. yeah, and I think technically Jamie had his hands cradling on, like her cradling head. her head and yeah. slightly around her neck. Dumb. I agree. <laughs> All the shit she's done to him. If anything, he should have showed up at that moment well, yeah, Bron, and tried to kill her. Bron was sent to kill them. Yeah. His so, his whole his whole character arc ending with basically people don't change is fucking stupid to me. I guess Bron isn't even an issue now. There's no tension there. Well, he's he's gonna come to Tyrion for and want his, his money. shit. But but what? Where how that where are they gonna work that he's into this last hand. episode? He's the hand of the queen. What? I want my money? No. And anyway, what's he gonna do? Kill him? Then Daenerys would have every right to burn his ass to shit. And he's a, you that know. might be exactly what happens. Yeah. Like Bron might show up, be like, "Okay, give me uh, wherever the fuck he wanted." Yeah, that territory. Uh, and and Tyrion's like, uh, "We got Danny? bigger shit going on now." <laughs> yeah, or Danny. Although yeah. with how things are, there's no fucking way. Right. It's, Especially it, because there's he's, gonna, he's Danny's going to know. Danny's going to know somehow about Tyrion freeing Jaime and bullshit like that. Oh yeah. And then yeah, Tyrion's sure. Tyrion's going to fucking bite it. Yeah. That's going to be a sad moment. Actually, you know, at this point, you know what sucks? Is I cared so much about so many of these characters. And for for some reason, they've written me to the point where I'm just like... Doesn't matter. I don't... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Because the show lost the character moments. It did. Like, when John died the first time, that fucking killed me. Like, I was like, fuck, <laughs> you know? Mm-hmm. Uh, even the hound being left, you know, and yeah. technically he might be still All dead in the books. All those things were still in the books. Right. And, uh, I mean, I don't want John to die, but I don't, I'm not going to be, care. I'm not going to be like I was when he got stabbed to death. You know what I mean? This, this whole season, I've just, I have, I have not given a shit about virtually any of the characters. Yeah. I have to agree with you. And it upsets me because it's. Such, that's not true it's been such a good fucking show when the night king grabbed Arya in the air yeah and stopped her from stabbing him the first time i for a split second i thought she's going to die right now and i got i was a little like oh fuck you know but then you know of course she pulls through that's the only moment i've had all season i mean even the tension when they were uh on that rock surrounded by the ice and all the dead are coming all the last i was like who the how the fuck you know, yeah. who's going to die now? Please, I don't want, I don't really want any of these people to die. Well, the, the, the fucking one-eyed dude who gets resurrected a hundred times over, I give a shit about him dying ever. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. I agree with you. It's sad. My predictions for next episode, besides the things that we've discussed. Yeah. I kind of like this whole thought of Danny going to execute John, Drogon, like not doing it. Either Drogon not doing it. Because I don't, I don't think Drogon would kill Danny, but then having Arya. What do if something. she puts John and Tyrion up there to get burned, mm-hmm. and then she gives the go ahead? And because John's standing next to Tyrion, he doesn't do it. So therefore, Tyrion is still alive, even though he should have been executed. <laughs> yeah, and they do something with that to keep that character alive. It's just it's lazy writing, man. I'm cool, no, except for the the cool dragon. I like that idea that yeah. he's like no, he's like no, and then John uses them to burn, melt the throne down, and there is no. Yeah, I like that. I do like that. Seven. I like that addition very much, and I will be disappointed if that doesn't happen. If this goes down the way that we're mm-hmm. saying, so and them saying that that's a satisfying ending. I've heard like it's a bittersweet ending, and satisfying. Sure. I don't think in any way possible. That this is going to be a satisfying ending. I'm. Yeah. I, I just. It's been rushed. Ba- too, too based much. off of how rushed it's been, it's just not going to be there. Have you been super excited about seeing an episode after the Night King episode? Like I've not been anticipating the next week. Like oh fuck, oh my god, it's almost Sunday, <laughs> at all. Well, the episode directly after the Night King the one. Long night or whatever, I was yeah. like, what the fuck. Is happening because that's when people started making stupid decisions sure and i because i was i mean that's when i was like i was hoping jamie's whole i'm gonna go back to cersei 
was like a Harry and the Hendersons thing, like I said. <laughs> and it was a bait and switch, but it wasn't. It was just stupid. He I had every right to have changed feelings for... She's tried to get him fucking killed. Yeah. I mean... Anyway. And, he, and he, he's just... I don't fuck it. They make him so loyal to want to help to be better than, than what he's been, you know, seen his whole life. Yeah. He's going to go help the, the, the North fight against these white walkers, right. even though she said, and then he's like, as soon as he finds out there, they won and Cersei may die. He's going to go back to help. the. And after he just fucking learned that Bronn was sent to kill them both. I mean, it makes, it makes zero sense. Yeah. Kara sends somebody to kill you. I mean, are you going to be happy with her right afterwards when you're like at work no. one day and Bronn shows up and he's like, you know, you got something better to offer me because I'm here to, you're going to go home and say, Hey, sweetheart, let me, no, I'm going to, let me love I'm going to get my PlayStation. I'm going to move in with you <laughs> and you will protect me. <laughs> All right. That's worth it. I, you got any, any, is there anything else to say? It's, it's weird because, like I've defended this show after yeah. uh, that ran out of the source material and they were getting a little speedy in this, that, and the other. I defended the show. Yeah. I was like, well, like, yeah, the, the, the teleportation, you just have to uh, go with the fact that they're just not showing certain passages of time. Sure. Just because there's suspend only your six disbelief. episodes. Sure. Well, no, I'm talking about even like last season, like they, oh, they yeah. did all this stuff. And I've defended and defended, and then the season I fucking can't. I can't, because it's gotten so bad that it's you can't ignore it. I agree, and I think our millions of listeners need to also understand <laughs> we don't disagree with what has happened right. with the, the most character yeah. arc. It's just too quick of a jump. Like yeah. I agree with every. I mean, it makes. I, yeah, I agree with Danny becoming a Mad Queen. Yeah. Um, I. I, I don't know how I feel about, like I said, the message of certain character arcs being you can't escape fate or who you are yeah. is kind of the message. Like it, with Jamie, it doesn't matter how much you progress as a human being, you're still a piece of shit. Actually, but... And then yeah. with Danny, like no matter how like noble you try to be and how many people you try to free and, 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 and get away from slavery and, and poverty... Uh, you're still going to go nuts and burn a bunch of fucking people alive. But they do show rarely, rarely, that some of the prophecies can be changed. Like with John, like the Red Woman said, knives in the night, you're going to, basically you're going to be, you know, you're going to be murdered. Mm -hmm. And then she was shocked as fuck that she could even bring him back. Yeah. So I think there's a way to, but, but, but see, but nothing was done to change why he is such a good guy and should have been brought back that's never even been really explained like the importance of john and what is the importance of i mean him? the the implied importance is that he's going to be that he's going to you know yeah. be the ruler or end the tyranny or whatever but uh i mean Arya was the one who killed the night king and and yeah. ended that threat yeah so uh the red woman understood Arya's role and that a whole bunch of other people were put into her life to get her to that point. Right. And then she just thinks at some point, like she thought John was Azora High. And that's why she brought him back. And that's why, right. And he hasn't paid off any of that yet, I guess. I mean, t- I mean, technically he's fought. Like it, it, the whole Night King battle wouldn't have been possible without him. Yeah. rallying people and and getting the dragon class and getting danny to to help and this that, and the other but i mean maybe he was just another person that's supposed to help Arya. i don't know do you think they're going to do a gladiator ending where john or Arya kill danny so therefore john is now king hear mm-hmm. me out and then like gladiator he does the whole my my only rule i'll make right now is we're splitting this all up into separate kingdoms everyone rule this your own areas yourselves and we're going to be a democracy or whatever else and then he dies and then he either dies or he just kind of goes off in the sunset 
you know, in Gladiator's case, he dies, but I don't see him being mortally wounded in some way that he would die. I think he just kind of, and then he just he then he abolishes his own. His I own, think you know, King. I don't think he'll die, but I think or he they gives up his power. Or may have foreshadowed that he's going to go back north. Yes, with, with Tormund with, saying, "Like ghost. you have the north in you." Yeah, like the true north. So I think, I think he might just. Yeah, there'll be a there'll be a time jump again, and he's just there, and he sees Wolf, and Wolf is going to the snow, and Tormund's saying, "You know what? I like man flesh after all, and they live happily ever after." Because he Ooh. never got the yeah. See where I'm going with that? Maybe that's what the the next series is. It's just fabulous Westeros <laughs> with Tormund and John. <laughs> I'd watch that shit. I would watch it. <laughs> and they're just sitting there with like a very like neatly groomed ghost and petting him. And Torment Torment's like I'm saying you, all this shit like I, can, well, I fucked a bear. I can nah. already see it. It's night or or it's getting towards dusk mm-hmm. after it's already been decided what's what it is. And they so they show Torment sitting on like some fucking ice rock with ghosts near him by a fire. And then it's just a pause moment to show a little, and then Ghost perks his ears up, turns back, and there's John coming. Mm-hmm. I can, yeah, fucking a. This is our and Tormund's like, mm. Daddy's home. <laughs> 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 See, I think the problem is they don't have us on the writing staff. Yes, it, this is what. Yes, <laughs> you want to bring this thing home to the millennials. <laughs> We got your back. We got your back. That's all I got. That's yeah, yeah. me too. This wasn't a very happy episode or a no. podcast episode. I have to say, I'm I'm hoping they pull out something that at least makes me feel like okay, they sort of brought it home. Yeah, that's the best I can hope for. <laughs> yeah, they got 88 minutes to bring it home. Yeah, and tie up every loose end. Yeah. Sure. All right. I'm still dealing with the sinus thing. Let me think of something clever to end this thing. Okay, it's okay. I can I can edit this. Uh, uh, so it sounds like you you're really fucking witty and you did it on the spot. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So I have to. I, you want me to sit here for some time and be like, uh, however long, however long you need. <laughs> Just think of it as like you trying to get an erection. All the different things you have to think about while you're pounding your putt. <laughs> this is working. My brain's a little slow today, but that that gave that that gave me some you mm-hmm. know, inspiration. Uh, let's see here. Uh, until next time, let's pray for some dragon throne melting, some Tormund and John humping. Oh, what if they do a threesome with a ghost? Oh, no. Because he's in the bears, dude. No, no, no. Because we're born in Ohio. you have to go like bestiality mode because i keep thinking about him fucking a she bear and i'm thinking you know he's he's they finally realize they're meant for each other and john likes redheads man he's gonna get he's already been kissed by the flames baby let me in your cave (laughs) yes and he knows nothing the whole time he's not into women maybe that's what eager was saying the whole time you know nothing john snow yeah you're really all about that dick (laughs)